Hey guys, welcome to my very first Fortnite video. And as many of you know, um, you know, I have come over from War Robots. I'm still doing War Robots, but I have been playing Fortnite, uh, you know, more so lately. And I really do enjoy this game. So I've been playing Fortnite for about, I would say, two months now. Uh, prior to the two months, I had never played this game before. Um, I did, however, play Quake and Quake 3, you know, back in the day. I guess it kind of shows my age. Um, but yeah. That's the only time that I've actually played a game uh, kind of similar to this. And I wanted to kind of try out Fortnite mostly because my cousin had been playing this game. And then I found out my other friend played it. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a go just to kind of see, you know, how the game is. I've actually always wanted to try Fortnite. Um, but when it first came out, I saw the whole building aspect of it. And it looked really complicated. So I guess I was kind of intimidated by uh, that part of the game. But uh, otherwise, yeah, in terms of what I plan on doing with this channel, it's more to document my progress as a player. Um, being that I'm new to the game, I figured, you know what, I'm going to share my experience and maybe uh, pick up a couple of tips from the more experienced players out there. Uh, but also, I'm sure there's many players out there thinking about playing this game. And, you know, the whole building aspect or, you know, just the overall gameplay, you know, of Fortnite kind of intimidates them. I'm hoping that this is going to be able to, uh, you know, help uh, you guys understand the game a bit better. And then hopefully you guys can pick up the game and, you know, also have some fun uh, with this. So one of the funny moments, you know, <laughs> playing this game, I'm just looking at this footage here. I'm trying to shoot someone, I think, in the bush there. But um, one of the funny moments that actually happened when I was starting uh, with Fortnite, I did not know that you could open up a chest. Uh, so what I was actually doing was I was going to every chest in the game and I was smashing it in order to get the loot. So that was just one of the funny moments. I unfortunately was not recording that. And, you know, another funny thing which also happened when I was first, uh, you know, live streaming this game on my uh, War Robots Discord. When I first started playing, I kind of picked up a grenade. I was in a room and I thought that it was like a shockwave grenade because I had seen... Uh, you know, some sort of grenade uh, watching a YouTube video. So I threw it and I thought it was going to blast me out of the, the room. But everyone on my Discord told me to run out of that room because it was going to explode. I had just thrown the grenade in that room. So uh, yeah, all these funny moments I'm hoping to kind of capture as well. Um, but yeah, when I first started playing this game, what's kind of funny, um, you know, I started and then I noticed, wait a minute. So my character is male and then it was like female. And I was trying to change, you know, my character. I was like, how do you change it? So all of these like little things, you know, might seem obvious to like most players. But when you are new to the game, you really don't know these things. So hopefully, uh, you know, the newer players, if you are uh, watching this, I can help guide you in the right direction. And also share some of the tips which I've uh, kind of picked up in terms of, you know, things like aiming. You know, what I've actually done in order to improve my aim in order to improve my movement uh, some of the things which i've actually adjusted you know in terms of uh, like my keyboard you know because i'm playing on a pc as well uh, so all of these things i'm hoping to uh, share with you guys um you know along with like live streams and funny moments and stuff like that so anyways i did figure out uh, the chug splash as you can see <laughs> what i'm doing here i'm trying to i think hack away at the floor or something i'm not even sure what i was trying to do so Oftentimes you'll see like especially in like the earlier footage when I was playing this game I would always switch to the map and try to put a marker because that's how I would get my bearing uh, In terms of you know where I needed to go um, One of the things with this game is you have obviously the storm and if you get caught in the storm You end up actually taking on quite a lot of damage um, So I was always trying to run to the center it kind of freaked me out the storm because I would lose uh, so much health and I would end up actually dying to the storm, uh, you know, so often. So you see me, um, you know, running in that direction. I'm picking up. Uh, she'll look at my loadout too. Like I have heals. I have so many weapons. Um, I have like no uh, shield or anything. So you can tell this is like really, uh, you know, the early day <laughs> footage. I just noticed I ran past the clumberries there. Actually, you know what? At this point, you know, when I first started recording, I did not know I could eat the clomberries in order to get uh, like health and shield and stuff. So I didn't know about that either. So you can tell that, you know, I'm really uh, inexperienced. I'm trying to, you know, figure things out here. I'm just running basically like, you know, a uh, chicken with its head cut off. So I'm shooting, uh, shooting this guy. 
So one of the things that I actually was doing a lot of, you can see I would run and slide and then like fire at the player. Um, you know, this was one of the things which I noticed, you know, players sometimes struggled to hit me when I was doing that. So I just started doing that often. So I'm just like, you know, running a lot. And I believe when I first started recording this, I didn't know about zero builds. Um, I also just thought, you know, it was just all about building. Um, so yeah, zero builds was actually in the game, um, you know, at the time of the recording, but I didn't know about it. I actually didn't even know how to switch uh, the different modes, to be honest. So anyways, there you go. You can see I've learned how to open up the chest. I'm learning about the uh, chug splash. I'm uh, noticing that my loadout is really bad too, but I guess, you know, at this stage you're thinking I have to pick up weapons because I need weapons. I ran past a shield keg here, I think. No, I'm trying to, yeah, I think I'm going to throw this down. So I did know about the shield keg, uh, which is important as well. So all of these things I'm going to actually talk about in like future videos. Um, you know, what I've experienced and I'm sure there's going to be other, you know, very experienced players that will correct me. And that's totally fine because this is how I learn. Um, you know, I did the same thing when I started playing War Robots and that's kind of how I developed as a player. Uh, so yeah, if you have any tips, definitely leave it in the comment section down below. So, uh, as I said, one of the things that I started doing uh, very often when I first started playing, uh, using the map and putting down the marker, this was... Uh, basically my way of uh, you know getting my bearings around the map so I knew which direction to run in very interesting to see you know how I progressed in this game because when you see the gameplay and how I play now it is a massive difference um, you know two months can make a huge difference when it comes to you know learning a game especially this game too so I'm just running into you know all these buildings here trying to uh, see if I can get loot but still I just find it kind of funny that I don't have any shield but it just goes to show you you don't know these things when you first start playing I'm actually running around I remember this part so I was running around I was going into the buildings and I'm like where is that marker so I was kind of uh, getting lost there but I'll show you like eventually what I've done in order to kind of help correct uh, you know um, how I get my bearings on the map and where I need to go. The other thing um, I'm noticing too is uh, my movement in terms of, you know, how I run around the map has also changed quite significantly. So really interesting to see, you know, how I progress as a player. I'm kind of wondering if you guys have also done this, you know, have you uh, tried recording your uh, gameplay and looking back at it? And seeing, you know, how different you actually play from like the first or the earlier days to, you know, uh, after like say one month or like six months. Oh, the other thing I noticed too. Notice how I don't have visual sounds on. So there's a feature in this game called, I think it's visual sounds, where you can actually see like if there's someone fighting nearby or like footsteps or like if there's a llama, which is also funny because when I first saw the llama, I actually thought it was a unicorn. So I was calling it a unicorn. Everyone's like, what do you mean by unicorn? Until one day I was in squad and like, I'm like, oh, a unicorn. And they're like, unicorn? You mean a llama? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that thing over there. And that's when I found out it's actually a llama, which is so funny. So yeah, all my <laughs> so-called noob mistakes. And I didn't really know about this. So I think I picked that up. Oh, you know what? I think I might have known about this at this point that when I try to use the small bandages, you can only get up to, I think it's 75 health. But if you use the, uh, you know, the full med kit, you can get uh, full healing. So I think that's why I picked it up. And I'm trying to figure out like, you know, these chests, I'm trying to open them up, uh, which is also another thing too, which I'm going to get into because, um, you know, I figured out ways when I was watching other YouTubers, how they open up chests a lot quicker. So I'll be uh, kind of going over that as well um, in a future video. So you notice how like every single time when I'm when I think I'm actually safe, I will go to the map and I will mark it and I'm trying to for some reason get into the center because I'm so afraid of that storm damage. I think what happened was I probably was playing you know a couple of games and I just kept on dying to the storm. 
So, you know, you kind of like, okay, well, I kept on dying. I died how many games to the storm? From this point on, I'm going to go to the center. And it's all about going to the center. So I think that's what I was doing here. So I would move in that direction, look to see where the storm was, and I would keep on placing my market in the center of the, the you know, the storm area. Or at least not the storm area, the safe zone. Good thing we didn't have like the hunter bolt here because I'm just noticing the way I'm running here, I would just get sniped, headshot, and I'd be finished. So this was the previous uh, season. I think it's uh, chapter three, season three, I think it is. Yeah, I don't know how exactly how the chapters and the different seasons work. I think some players were telling me that the seasons are kind of like, um, you know, almost like quarterly. So you have like four seasons or something. I'm not sure how it works. And then the chapters are like, you know, the year. But I don't know. This is just something that I'm kind of uh, figuring out still. So I remember this. I was picking up all these things. I saw that that weapon I'm like whoa this must be good it's it looks kind of uh, looks like kind of like a good weapon because it's gold and I was also trying to figure out actually the different color coding too which surprisingly I actually got wrong and I didn't know you know the order until I would say probably recently it was only a couple of weeks ago um, you know after one and a half months so that just goes to show you I was not aware of these things. I was trying to figure it out. Man, I just realized I'm running straight to Coney and this is like one of the busiest areas on the map. Obviously, I didn't know about that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of, you know, the players that I'm actually going up against here are probably bots. Because if you look at like my level, I think it showed my level was like level 20 something. So yeah, obviously I'm not really good at the game. I think I saw the car there. Am I really gonna go towards that car? That's kind of gutsy. <laughs> you know what? I think most players would actually move away from the car, but I guess I was watching some videos and they, they basically said, you know, you wanna play aggressively. So you can see there, I'm level 29. So obviously I'm, you know, very inexperienced here. Only level 29, guys. So I'm kind of running around here, trying to get some weapons or something. I have no idea what I'm trying to do. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. Check the map, look for the center point, and run straight to the center. Because we do not want to get in that storm. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So one of the things that I think, um, you know, I also saw in one of the videos. I don't know if you guys watch Evolve Jake. Um, so I do watch his channel. I watch Nick A30. Um, I've seen some videos of Tifu, uh, Zemi. I'm trying to think of you know what other you know YouTubers or like Twitch streamers. I kind of watch them to also try to figure out um, you know these things. They don't always explain things, but I you know just based on watching, you can kind of figure things out. So I took this guy out. Oh, that's another thing too. I think I killed that player and I saw the crown. I'm like, what is that? And I just ran past it. I didn't even pick it up. It just goes to show you how new of a player. I had killed a guy with a crown and I didn't even pick it up. Hmm. Just goes to show you I probably would have had more crowns <laughs> if I had picked that up. Which is even funnier because you'll see like as we get like to the end of this this game here. Yeah, I didn't even know about the crowns. Wow. <laughs> this is kind of funny. So anyways, I'm running in this direction now. Um, it's all about being inside of that, that safe zone. And I think I had figured out, you know, at this point that there were only a few players left, uh, you know, in the game. So I think it's uh, showing uh, eight. So that means there's seven others in the game. I'm trying to find them. Uh, but mostly I'm trying to get to the center of uh, the safe zone. Because I had lost a lot of games just dying to the storm. And I guess I kind of got paranoid because of that. So I'm just running, making sure that I'm always in the center. You know what? I'm wondering if I'm the only one that actually did that. When you guys first started playing this game, were you also like that? Comment, comment down below if you were. So now I'm looking at 
Notice how like every time I hear that sound, like the storm sound, I keep putting my mark in the center because I'm so afraid to get caught in the storm that I'm going to die and lose. So I'm in like this weird structure thing here. Um, I am basically camping it out. I can see how many players there are and I figured they have to come to me. So at some point we're going to kill them and then hopefully win the game. So this is pretty much what I did. Um, I camped out in this, uh, I don't even know what you want to call this. What do you guys call this? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Some kind of like hiding spot here. It had all the loot uh, from the uh, Darth Vader with the uh, stormtroopers and stuff. So anyways, my plan here basically stay in the center of the uh, safe zone area and the storm would eventually push those players towards me and uh, I would ambush them. That was my plan. So uh, hopefully it works out here. But yeah, in the comment section below, if you have like other, you know, funny stories when you first started playing the game that you can't believe that you actually did, uh, please share it in the comment section down below because I want to see if you guys made the same mistakes as me when I first started playing. So I'm kind of looking around here. I did see this one player. I managed to actually kill him. You know what's kind of funny is I had, I don't think I had a shotgun. I just ran straight at him and started firing. I'm kind of wondering, did he have shield? He probably didn't have shield. So now I'm kind of shielding up here. Kind of surprised I didn't take the uh, 50 pot, um, you know, the shield in order to get more shield. <laughs> I'm actually just waiting here. I could have taken it. Now I'm trying to find out. Okay, so there's like four players left. There's three more. I'm trying to find the other players here. So you can see me, I'm like hiding. I think I might have heard something. I'm not sure. Looking around, I'm like, where are the other players? I'm right in the, the center of the safe zone. So I'm trying to use my cover here, trying to figure out, you know, where are these guys? And now I realize, wait a minute, there's only one more player left. It's me and the other guy. Where is the other guy? I'm trying to figure out where he is. <laughs> I'm trying to hide. I think I went back here. And now I'm like hiding. I'm trying to figure out, okay, where is this guy? So you can see what I'm actually doing. The minute that storm thing, when you hear that sound, I'm going to the map and I'm putting my marker in the middle of the map because I don't want to get caught in that storm. So, you know, obviously I'm waiting here. I'm like, where is this person? I'm just going to hide here. My thinking is eventually they'll come through this area and I'll kill them that way. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing here. The, this gameplay is so funny to watch, like how I play now, you know, after like two months compared to like, you know, this gameplay here. It's so funny. And also, why didn't I take like the 50 pot? I could have had more shield. So I'm, I'm just waiting here. I don't even know what weapon I have selected. Oh, I think it's a stinger. Wait, did I even reload? I don't even know if I reloaded. That's the other noob mistake that I've uh, made. You know, when I first started playing this game, I wouldn't reload my weapons. Sometimes I would, and then I would forget about it. So I'd run like guns blazing. Well, I guess it's not really guns blazing, but I'd run at the enemy and I'm like, oh crap, I don't have any ammo. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just waiting patiently here because I figured, you know what, this player is here somewhere. Um, as you can see, the circle, uh, you know, did move slightly. So now I'm kind of like thinking, okay, where do, like, where is this guy? He's probably going to do the same thing as me. And I'm like trying to pinpoint because I'm trying to get my bearing. But the circle is so small, I can't even place my marker. So now I'm like, oh crap, I got to move. Like I'm looking at the storm. This thing's going to move. I got to go quick. So this is where I move this way. I'm trying to move around, hoping I can see them. And I think what happened was, yeah, I moved forward and I heard something and I turned around and this person was actually on that, uh, I think he was up top here. Yeah, because I'm moving around here. I, I think I had heard something. And then I turn around like, where is this guy? And then eventually I saw them, they were up top there and then I started shooting them. So I think this might have actually been my first, uh, you know, victory. So that is, uh, you know, my first video 
that I'm going to show for this channel. I think it's a good start. And, uh, you know, I'm actually going to show you my progress now. Uh, the next video which I post is going to be some of the things that I learned in order to improve and understand the game better. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you haven't already.